months and months of protests. We've made a lot of efforts to communicate with Ascension individually on a unit basis. We've made uh, efforts to communicate with the executives in the admin office um, and at the bargaining table at each session. We've had multiple events in the community to bring attention to these issues. Efforts Lindsay Spinney, a neonatal ICU nurse at Ascension Seton, says have gone unrecognized. She, along with some 900 other nurses at Ascension Seton Medical Center, are part of the National Nurses United organization, a union fighting for safe staffing and practices at Ascension Seton's main campus. When they decide to not stock supplies appropriately, when we're having to reuse things that we shouldn't be reusing things, it creates um, you know, problems for the nurses and the patients on a regular basis. In January, union nurses held a vigil outside of Ascension Seton's offices in the Miller neighborhood. We're having um, really high nurse to patient ratios and it's just leaving room for us to make errors that could be preventable and not giving our patients the care that they deserve. Four months after that rally, I caught up with Christine Kittleson, a mother baby unit nurse at Ascension Seton. She says after all that time, the hospital system still hasn't agreed to a new contract with the union. We're at the point where we've done all these escalations, we've done our, you know, vigil, our picket to really show to them and to show our community. We have a lot of community support. Right now, Kittleson says nurses are working with up to eight patients each shift when they should be caring for no more than six each. Spinney says it's the same in the neonatal unit. Can you share some of the things that you may see on a daily or some of the things that come up? We take care of the tiniest babies in Austin. They're the most fragile and delicate. We take care of infants that are as small as a can of Coke, honestly. They weigh less than a pound. She says when ratios are higher, it trickles down to patient care. When we are taking care of more patients than we should be, um, working in unsafe conditions, lacking support staff, that really puts us at risk for our license, but it really puts the patient at risk. Hey, Nurses also gathered in April, marching through the rain to try and make a point to Ascension Seton's board. You know, we've always held a very high standard for a high quality of care, and over the years they've kind of taken away more resources uh, from us, ancillary staff, supplies, etc. When it comes to staffing, union representatives say there is no shortage of nurses. They cite from comparisons of the Bureau of Labor Statistics and the National Council of State Boards of Nursing that in 2022 there were more than 1 million nurses with active licenses who were not employed as RNs or working in hospitals. These nurses say any lack of help isn't due to a shortage of nurses, but rather people leaving the industry due to conditions. It really is a safety issue and people are, are just not willing to do that anymore. I reached out to representatives for Ascension Seton. In a statement, a spokesperson said in part, quote, we continue to negotiate in good faith to reach a mutually beneficial agreement with the nurses of Ascension Seton Medical Center, Austin. Our goal is to support all of our associates in a just and equitable manner as we continue to provide safe, compassionate care to those we are privileged to serve. In this spring, local Ascension hospitals earned an A grade for hospital safety from the LeapFrog Group, a nonprofit that analyzes patient safety. Ascension reps say that demonstrates benchmarks of safety, culture, and support of the organization's nurses. But the nurses union also raised concerns about cleanliness in the workplace and security measures, citing workplace violence from both patients and internally. To help, these nurses fill out objection forms, a common accountability practice in hospitals and for unions. The forms allow each nurse to share their concerns with an assignment, and a copy goes to both their hospital managers as well as union leaders thousands, hundreds of assignments that show that we're serious about patient care. We write these for a reason because it is unsafe. You know, we're put in unsafe staffing situations, ratios. It really is able for us to highlight how many patients we have on the floor. But both Spinney and Kittleson tell me many of these forms have gone unanswered. Spinney, who has been at the negotiation table for the last 10 meetings with the board, says their patience is running out. I want to know that if an agreement doesn't come, what would happen next? So we've made, uh, we've talked to everybody in the hospital, all the nurses, and there are a large, large majority of us ready to take the next step, which would be to vote to strike because we need to make these changes and we need to make them happen. It is for all of you